Hi children, in this video we are going to discuss about the problems from worksheet 4. Okay, let us see that the first problem from worksheet 4. Here see that in the given figure AB is a parallel to CD and CD is parallel to EF. Okay, and GH is parallel to KL. The measure of angle HKL which means they are asking here angle HKL value we need to find out. Okay, so here how to find that? Just to say that actually first which conditions they are given those conditions are there in that figure are not first we have to observe that. Okay, so let us say that AB is a parallel to CD. So here they are saying that AB is a parallel to CD and CD is a parallel to EF. Here they are given that three parallel lines those three lines are also parallel to each other. Okay, next one and GH is a parallel to KL. So where is the GH? Here it is GH. Okay, GH is a parallel to KL. Here the, the vertex is, I mean here the point is K and here that is L and this is H and Z. So these two lines are also parallel they are saying. Okay, actually these are the given conditions. So by using these conditions, how to find that the angle at HKL means this angle we need to find out. Okay, so let us see that. Here actually the angle is given that 65 degrees at the point Z. Once you observe that the point at Z here we have that two angles now. Here we have two angles formed at the point Z. Already one of the angle given that is 65 degrees. And we know that at that point here the sum of these two angles forms here linear pair only no. Okay. That's why here let us take that this is some x. Okay. So these two angles forms here linear pair. So 65 degrees plus x is equals to 180 degrees. Linear pair is nothing but it forms sum of those two angles. Sum of those two adjacent angles forms 180 degrees. Right. So here these two forms linear pair. Okay, so here from this one x is equals to 180 degrees minus 65 degrees. So x is equals to 180 minus 65 degrees is nothing but 115 degrees. Okay, so what is the value of x? So here we taken this angle is equals to x now. So x is equals to 115 degrees. It is clear? So here this is 65 degrees and this is 115 degrees and one more thing we have to keep that is in your brain that is here actually this is not a straight line. If that is a straight line then directly we can take that here L is a transversal of the lines A, B, C, D and E, F but that is not a straight line here. Okay, that's why we have to observe that actually these two lines are parallel and this is transversal to that A, B and C, D. Directly a straight line not given no. Okay, that's why here. So, X is equals to 115 degrees. Now, which one we need to find out? Here angle we need to find out. So, for that one we need to find here also one of the angle. What is that angle here? Okay, by observing this case here we have that 65 degrees no. Okay, when you observe these two angles, this is a straight line only. So, we can say that these two angles are vertically opposite angles. That's why this is 65 degrees. So, here also this is 65 degrees. Okay, now here angle we need to find out. Here we can apply that to two conditions. Already we got that the value of x here. Another angle also we know that. So, by observing these two angles, these two angle at H, angle at Z, those two non-adjacent angles, we can say that those two are corresponding angles and we know that if the given lines are parallel, then corresponding angles are equal. So, by using that condition also we can write or else. Now, here these two angle at H, angle at Z, those two forms here co-interior angles only know, those two angles lies inside of that parallel lines. Okay, and those two angles lie same side of the transversal. So, we can call that these two angles are co-interior angles. And we know that co-interior angles forms 180 degrees. So, we can use that condition also. If which condition you will use, whatever it may be, the answer is same, right? So, here the angle is equals to 115 degrees. Okay, now we have here angle. What is that? 115 degrees already here one of the angle given what is that angle that is 30 degrees so just observe that 
here angle given this total angle is equals to 115 plus 30 degrees so which is equals to 145 degrees so here this complete angle is equals to 145 degrees only now now which one they are asking here they are saying that what is that gh is parallel to kl gh if you extend these two lines then we can draw like this these two lines are parallel by observing the figure we can say that here this is a transversal hk is a transversal okay here these two lines are parallel then here hk is a transversal so by observing that condition these two angles we can say that here we can observe that one of that is z okay so these two angles we can say that alternate interior angles yes if the given lines are parallel, then alternate interior angles are equal. Okay. So, by using that condition, here this angle is equals to 145 degrees. That's why here angle is equals to 145 degrees. Okay. So, this complete angle is equals to here 145 degrees. So, angle HKL is equals to 145 degrees. Okay, once again observe that first which conditions are they given, we have to go for that conditions. Okay, AB is a parallel to CD, CD is a parallel to EF. After one more condition they are given, why? Because this is not a straight line, one of the transversal they didn't give, two different transversals given. Okay, so here this is one of that and this is another transversal. If you extend these two lines, then we can say that those two lines are parallel to each other. If those two lines are parallel to each other, then here HK is a transversal. Okay. Here I applied that alternate interior angles condition. Okay. If the given lines are parallel, then alternate interior angles are equal. Okay. That's why here angle is equals to 145 degrees. So angle HKL is equals to 145 degrees. Okay, let us see that second problem. So here observe that the measure of x in the given figure, the measure of x in the given figure. So where is that x here? Here the given that x. So once you observe that figure here directly the given that these two lines are parallel to each other. Okay, and here another angle given that is 15 degrees. Here x is given we need to find out this. And here 110 degrees. So for that complete figure they given here two measurements. We need to find out unknown measurement here. Okay. So how to find that? Just children, when you observe that if you extend this line, if you extend that line, then we can say that these two lines are parallel. Already we know that, right? When you observe this one here, we have that one of the small triangle. Here we have one of the triangle, no? In generally, triangles topic not completed, but uh, in earlier classes also we know that in a triangle total angle, I mean sum of three complete three angles is equals to 180 degrees only. No, here I am saying complete angle means uh, here the sum of all these three angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. We know that condition from childhood onwards, right? So here these two lines are parallel. Then we can say that here 110 degrees there. No. So here 110 degrees and here one of the angle which one I marked here when you observe those two angles those two are corresponding angles. So if the given lines are parallel then corresponding angles are equal. So shall we take that here angle is equals to 110 degrees. Okay just observe those two these two are parallel lines. So I am telling here this angle and these two are corresponding angles. And we have one more thing is there if you observe that Z shape. If you observe that Z shape in that given figure, then we can say, then easily we can identify that alternate interior angles. Okay. These two angles are alternate interior angles. So, this is the symbol for to, to identify that alternate interior angles. First, we can identify that Z shape. Like this figure is there. This is a Z shape only, no? This is the Z shape. So, these two angles are alternate interior angles. So, easily we can say that those two angles are equal. Just for identification I am saying. Okay. If you observe that F shape, capital F. If you observe that capital F shape, then here like this angles there means those two are corresponding angles. So, here we can observe that F shape. 
this is f shape only no like this only there so we can say that these two angles are corresponding angles only no so here 110 degrees are given that's why here also angle is equals to 110 degrees only okay here horizontally given here i taken that vertical position okay so here this is 110 and this is 15 just now only i told you that sum of three angles three interior angles of a triangle is equals to 180 degrees here already we know that two angles 110 degrees plus 15 degrees here this is x now so here i am going to take that another angle that is y here i am taking another angle this is 110 and here another angle is there now this one i am going to take it as some y okay so here plus y which is equals to 180 degrees we know that why because those three forms here because in a triangle sum of all interior angles forms 180 degrees by using that condition 110 plus 115 is equals to 125 degrees plus y is equals to 180 degrees so y is equals to 180 degrees minus 125 degrees so which is equals to y is equals to 55 degrees okay is it clear children so here what is that another angle y is equals to 55 degrees now what they are asking here they are asking to find that the angle at x so when you observe that here we have that one of the point at that point we can observe that two adjacent angles one is x another one which one we assumed angle that is y okay so x and y those two forms here linear pair yes or no here x and y those two are adjacent angles and those two angles formed at that a point okay so those two forms here a linear pair are not so by using that condition x plus y is equals to 180 degrees why because those two forms here a linear pair okay so here x we need to find out so x plus y already we got that that is 55 degrees which is equals to 180 degrees so x is equals to 180 degrees minus 55 degrees so x is equals to 125 degrees so what is the value of x that is 125 degrees or in next classes in triangles topic we can observe one more thing that is one of the theorem that is exterior angle theorem okay if you apply that exterior angle theorem then also you will get that answer but here triangles concept not completed no that's why i'm saying this one according to that exterior angle theorem here x is just observe that here this is a triangle so in this triangle here we taken that 110 degrees so x is that exterior angle exterior angle formed outside of the triangle now x is formed outside of the triangle that's why we are calling x is an exterior angle here so how to find that exterior angle means the exterior angle which is equals to the sum of two opposite interior angles of a triangle okay that is the theorem for exterior angle we will discuss in that next classes so here in this case is 110 plus 15 degrees which is nothing but equals to 125 degrees actually we got that x is equals to 125 degrees okay this proof we will discuss in that further classes okay so by using that condition also we can say that x is equals to 125 degrees so which option is correct here yes that is option 1 125 degrees okay let us see that next problem